What qualities do you look for in an applicant? Uh, product knowledge, um, being comfortable in front of people. So I mean, that's a huge thing in our interview process is if you clam up and shut down when I'm just asking you random interview questions, you're not going to be able to really open up to just a stranger about you know their family plan or their phone or anything like that. So being comfortable in front of people, being able to communicate your answers effectively, and then also um, product knowledge, being able to know the technical sides of the industry. What kinds of answers do you look for in an interview? I like to, me personally, I always approach with positive answers. So, you know, if they ask you what's a negative quality, almost spin it like, oh, well, a negative quality of mine is the fact that I am, you know, determined to get things finished. So I need to get all my products or, you know, my assignments done. And because of that, sometimes I'm late doing those assignments, but I like to have them finished. So, I mean, anyone that can have a positive spin and then also direct answers. You know, if you beat around the bush, then you're not going to get anything accomplished. What is one of the best answers you've been given in an interview? If you had to, the question is, if you had to describe a cell phone to someone from the 1700s, how would you do it? And the answer that we received was the, how did he phrase it? It was something of the easiest form of communication from long distances that you can imagine. Um, so whether it was a text, a call, an email, something like that, going across various distances to the world even, something like that. I, f I forget the exact answer. How can an applicant tell if the interview went well? I, th I think the reaction. I mean, when you're sitting in front of someone and you're talking to them, facial expressions, body language, things like that, like if they stand up right away and shake your hand and say, you know, great interview, we really, we're really we great to hear back from you, you know, we'll let you know really soon, it's a positive sign. Now, if you're... You walk out of the room and they're like, you know, kind of hesitant and not very friendly to you, you probably didn't get the job, so. What should an applicant do to prepare for the interview? So I do research about the company that you're getting, you know, maybe hired by or that you're applying to. The more knowledge you have about the company, its core philosophies, its um, like job codes even, uh, I think the better uh, prepared you are. Also things like pay grade, like you can look up pretty much anything online nowadays. So you can determine how much they're going to pay you and use that to your advantage to maybe get more money uh, from the initial hiring process. What should an applicant do after leaving the interview? Uh, always follow up is always good. You know, I mean, a quick email I think is a great way to do something because you can get a message across but not seem like overbearing or desperate that you need the job. But say, you know, it was great interviewing with you. Can't wait to hear back from you. Um, would really like to be a part of your guys' team or something of that nature um, or even a phone call. Uh, but I, I think an email is a little bit more direct and let, it seems less desperate.